Next up in the netwear series is my fantastic luxury Shetland in red cumin by Bossy. A Shetland is a piece of clothing that I pined over. It's an iconic piece of menswear and typically worn in Ivy League styled outfits. Brands like J Press, Ralph Lauren, uh, and Brooks Brothers are all, you know, hallmarks of this kind of Shetland Ivy League style. And just like Ivy League in general, the style seems to be having a bit of a resurgence at the moment, and in my opinion, for good reason. So, let's get into the jumper, the knit, and discuss why you might want one in your knitwear collection. Hello, I'm Sam from Jessup Says. The focus of my channel is to share and educate on how to buy less, buy better. On how we can make smarter and more informed decisions before we make a purchase to ensure that what we purchase is fit for purchase and is made to last. Shetland is located in the northernmost part of Scotland and actually one of the most northern parts of the United Kingdom. It's just shy of a thousand kilometers north of London, as the crow flies that is. It is therefore a very remote part of the world. Surprisingly to me in my research, I found that this area has actually been occupied since the Mesolithic period of the human history, which is basically the last period of hunter-gatherers for as far as human history goes. Throughout the medieval times, the islands were inhabited by the Scandinavian people, presumably some sort of Viking-like people, and then it became part of Scotland and then part of the greater Great Britain. The area is known for its unique varieties of animals, notably the Shetland Pony, which is a very cute little tiny stumpy uh, pony, but they are super, super cute and very uh, recognizable. Other animals that come from Shetland that are quite biologically unique is the Shetland Sheepdog and importantly the Shetland Sheep. The Shetland Sheep is similar to the Merino Sheep that is very popular down in the Southern Hemisphere in places like New Zealand and Australia and they're the sheep that produce Merino wool. The Shetland Sheep is known to produce Shetland wool and Shetland wool has been a highly valuable commodity throughout the history of history. To the point where in the mid 19th century, Shetland knitwear was actually used as a form of currency and bartering for goods in the region. Pretty interesting. Shetland in the context of today's video is this jumper, like, like the one I'm wearing here from Bossy and refers to the style of the garment, not necessarily where it's produced or where the wool comes from, though traditionally that was what a Shetland was. A Shetland today is a typically colorful crew neck jumper, so, you know, nice low neck, with saddle shoulders and ribs on both the cuff, the hem down here, and the neck. The wool itself is often quite slubby or potentially features a brushed surface. By slubby, I mean that, you know, it's very textural. It's not one color. It's not meant to be sort of neat looking. Uh, and a brush surface is where they take these old, I believe, seed heads and basically brush the fabric to make it look like it's, you know, a bit more soft and fluffy. The brush style was made iconic by the shaggy dog jumper that J Press made very, very famous. The jumper has become an icon of Ivy League style. It's nice and warm, it's extremely durable, and it's a fantastic addition to pretty much any wardrobe. This Shetland, I believe, is created by Harley of Scotland, which is a Scottish company that started in 1929 and is based in a place called Peterhead. Though not Shetland, it is one of the closest places on mainland Great Britain to Shetland, the, the islands of Shetland. Harley are world leaders in what's called seam-free whole garment knitwear. 
Seam free is basically where the entire garment is sewn into the one I'm wearing today without any seams or joining points or sewing of multiple fabrics together. It's all knitted and then taken off the, the knitter and it, it's the garment that you see today. Seam free knitting is extremely important to the identity of this knit. It allows the garment to be zero waste. The technique means the knitwear is knitted in and I'll quote here, flatbed tubular in the round and cast off the machines in a complete sweater. Basically, as I said before, there are no panels or pieces of cloth to be joined. It's all done on the machine. So when the machine is complete, the garment is complete. Literally zero waste. 12% cashmere, 88% Shetland wool with a seamless saddle shoulder this is sort of the most succinct way to describe the bossy luxury Shetland. So what makes it luxury? The cashmere, of course. The cashmere goat is the producer of the highly prized wool cashmere. Surprising that one. And it's one of the softest and most sought after fabrics in the world. Cashmere goes fantastically with Shetland wool due to its ability to be highly adaptable and easily constructed into either fine or thick yarns within a range of light to heavyweight fabrics. Basically meaning that it has a fantastic ability to mesh well with other wool type fabrics. When combined with Shetland wool, it takes an already beautifully soft and luxurious knit and turns it up another level. This is definitely not scratchy, nor is it too thick. It feels soft and fine, yet robust. I know it's a bit hard to imagine, but the fibers themselves are of the highest quality in regards to both the cashmere and the Shetland wool. I know this because Harley pay close attention to the sustainability standard, as well as the environmental and ethical sourcing of their raw materials, and it really does pay off. Both the cashmere and the Shetland wool used to create this bossy luxury Shetland is sourced from a 200 year old spinner, which is local to a factory. The colors offered are all multi-colored, multi-hued and extremely vibrant. My one here is called red cumin, which is, I would describe a sort of goldy ochre color with flecks of deep red and rusty tones. I think it's just quite lovely. The knit arrived around May of this year, just before winter truly set in down here. Also, just before I traveled to New Zealand in winter, and specifically to a place called Queenstown, which is a beautiful place and I recommend everyone visit. It's a place known to be quite cold in winter. You know, it snows there regularly. So over the short five month span of my owning of this jumper, it's had quite a good amount of wear. I thought I'd share with you my first impressions. It has to be said that yellow might be my least favorite color, but red cumin is an absolute joy to wear. There's just something about it. It's kind of vibrant, maybe even happy. It reacts to light changing from a deep gold to a lovely rust, just depending on where you're standing or what kind of light situation you're in. And you might think that this shade is actually quite difficult to wear, but we'll get to that a bit later. The fabric itself is of course a standout. I know I've spent a lot of time talking about it already, but honestly, it's just superb. It has a unique ruggedness to it. The fabric sort of feels like it's gonna last longer than I'm going to live. I don't know how to describe it. It's just very soft and warm, but it's definitely not something that's going to make you sweat if it's too warm. I've worn it in weather that goes up to around 20, 25 degrees Celsius, and I've found it to be absolutely fine if a bit toasty. Finally, the fit. The fit is typical Ivory League, a style that I'm clearly fond of. 
It's nicely tailored down the arms to the ribbed hem. And the body is fairly straight, but the hem at the bottom does add a tailored touch to it and sort of cinches in at the waist. It's very comfortable and not at all restrictive. Let's finish with some outfit inspo. Starting off with my favorite combination, with my Morsonosa jacket made from this beautiful fox tweed and a pair of chinos from a company called Cass Atlantic. It works great over a pair of flannels if you wanted to step it up a bit in terms of both formality and warmth. This pair here are from Informale and are pretty much my go-to pair. Even in the green flannel, the, the yellow is a fantastic pairing. Finally, for a more chilled day, throw on a pair of salvaged denim and you're away. Tanuki was my choice here with the KHT 13 ounce Kaze, fade, blue, high tapered being the model that I'm wearing. Uh, there'll be links in the description below. Uh, and it's basically just a light blue shade from the factory instead of the typical indigo that you'd find from a salvage dinner. I truly love this Shetland knit from Bossy. It's soft and luxurious to wear while also being amazingly warm. The color might be the biggest surprise though. The red cumin in my eyes is literally perfection. It's a perfect pickup for the winter ahead, and I recommend if you don't own one, that you should. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.